for caring for our kids now. Spring means trees and flowers blooming and lots of sneezing and coughing for those who suffer from seasonal allergies, often called hay fever. Allergies often start in childhood and then continue throughout life. I can attest to that. And while there is no cure, there are some tips to help you and your family manage allergies and help everyone enjoy spring. So joining us now with more from Children's Hospital is Dr. Katie Stordahl. Always good to see you. Thank you. Let's first uh, talk about when to suspect an allergy versus mm -hmm. a common cold because you, you look miserable either way. You do. And they can be very similar. Mm -hmm. Itchy, watery eyes, runny nose, and coughing can be symptoms of both. One of the things that I look for in the ER is does the children have a history of allergies that can tell you if this is their normal allergies, and do they have a fever? A fever is never going to be associated with allergies. There you go, two main, main things. All right, let's talk about the common causes, especially mm -hmm. here, of mm -hmm. allergies. We have so much pollen this time of year. It's so beautiful with the trees and the flowers, but the pollen is the most common t thing at this time of year. Mm -hmm. We also see a lot of molds that are growing in different type of fungi that can cause allergies as well. And then there are just the general allergies that people can have year-round to things like smoke. Oh, that's a bad one. Also, you know, clothing and toys, mm -hmm. other types of things that, that we're allergic to, latex and things like that, latex, right? Latex, some cleaning products, mm -hmm. which can actually use bacteria to house the chemicals that are in them, and those can wow. make people allergic to them. So people can have various types of allergies, but by far the most common are seasonal allergies, and we see those spiking in the spring and in the fall. Just stuff that's out there in the air. Mm -hmm. So how do we control allergy symptoms in our kids? Well, this time of year, there's going to be pollen everywhere outside, and we don't want to tell children not to go outside and play, but if they have terrible allergies, trying to keep them indoors and keeping the windows closed will help them with their allergy symptoms. Washing their clothes if they've been playing outside and come inside will help get the pollen off of their clothes and out of your house, so that will help. And then, of course, antihistamines or other medications that may be prescribed by your child's doctor. All right, and again, uh, signs that it could be more than allergies. We're not just mm -hmm. talking about the common cold, but maybe some serious things going on. Like asthma. Mm -hmm. It's very common at this time of year for people who have allergies and have asthma that those allergies can trigger their asthma. So what we look for with asthma may be a prolonged cough, weeks of cough, wheezing or difficulty breathing, or noticing that your child seems to be working harder to breathe when they've been outside or they've been exercising. That's a very common way to trigger asthma at this time of year. All right, and that can be so scary. It uh, well, can and, be. and so dangerous for a child. So it can got to get that checked. Absolutely. All right, doctor. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. And if you have a question about your child's health, just email me at ltucker at wate dot com, and be sure to tune in every Thursday here on Six News at five thirty to see if we use your question on the air. So keep those questions coming in.